Hello, and welcome to another informative engineering video by RapidDirect. In this video, we will explore the fundamentals of engineering drawing and its significance in project development. You will gain valuable insights into the key elements of an engineering drawing, as well as practical tips to enhance your skills in this critical area. So, let's dive in and learn how to create effective engineering drawings that bring your project ideas to life. What is engineering drawing? An engineering drawing is an essential technical drawing used to define the requirements of a project. This drawing clearly captures every geometric feature of components and conveys engineering ideas for design processes. Why engineering drawing is important for your project. Engineering drawings are essential for manufacturing, as they provide information that cannot always be conveyed through 3D CAD models. These drawings can depict features such as internal and external threads which can be challenging to represent in a 3D model. The dimensions, annotations, and tolerances on the engineering drawing provide machinists with a clear understanding of how to create the part. Additionally, engineering drawings can specify features with tolerances that exceed the standard, which allows for greater accuracy and precision during the manufacturing process. Furthermore, it can also include specific requirements, such as finishing and surface roughness, which impact the final product's quality. But before you go ahead to create an engineering drawing, you must know the various components of the drawing. First, your engineering drawing must have a title block that will contain the basic details about your intended part. The details include the name of the component, material, surface finishing and color requirements, designer's name, and company. You can also include technical information like the scale used for the drawing, and the standards used for dimensions and tolerances. The technical drawing must also contain a 3D pictorial or isometric view of the part. It offers an undistorted presentation of the part's geometry, making it easier to understand the drawing at a glance. The other crucial element to include in an engineering drawing is the main orthographic view. It is a two-dimensional depiction of the object, showing its actual shape. This view helps you communicate features and dimensions more clearly. Aside from the main orthographic view, the engineering drawing must also include section views to show the internal details of the part. There can be multiple section views depending on the number of internal features you want to show. If there are complex areas in the main orthographic view, you should include detailed views to highlight these areas. If there is any additional information you need the manufacturer to know, you can include this in the Notes to the Manufacturer section. It can contain surface finishing requirements, instructions to deburr sharp edges, and more. Now that you have a good understanding of the various components that make up an engineering drawing, it's essential to learn some tips that can help you create even better drawings. Tip number one. Only include dimensions for critical and measurable features. Start with the overall dimensions of the part, and then add dimensions that are most critical for functional purposes, such as the distance between an edge and a hole. Tip number two. Be sure to add hole tapping needs to your drawing and treat the depth callout as a minimum. Tip number three. Consolidate callouts to avoid clutter. If you have multiple features of the same type in a view, give the dimension of only one of the features and indicate the total number of times the feature is repeated. Tip number four. Add construction lines to all views such as center lines, center marks, and center mark patterns, to define the location of the center of holes or circular patterns. Tip number five, add part numbers to your engineering drawing if there is a need for hardware installation. The supplier number may also be important in this case. Tip number six, add tolerances to features that need higher accuracy than the standard tolerance. Rapid Direct follows standard CNC machining tolerances for metals is ISO 2768F and for plastics is ISO 2768EM. Tip number seven, avoid overdimensioning or conflicting tolerances in your designs. Assign tolerances and dimensions only to function critical features to help the machinist focus more on these features. With that, we have come to the end of this video and we believe that you now have a better understanding of engineering drawings and tips to create even better drawings. Don't have an engineering drawing for your CNC machining project? Don't worry. 
you can still upload your 3D CAD design file on RapidDirect's Instant Quotation platform. You will get an instant quote alongside a detailed DFM analysis report to improve your design. With Rapid Direct, quality parts made easier, faster than ever before. We hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe to this channel for more informative engineering video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.